Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and I'm going to solve a problem here involving feeding a baby alligator some antibiotics that it needs. So, we'll get right into it. Uh, this baby alligator won't eat the antibiotics unless it is mixed with some fish, and so we're basically making this slurry with fish and water, and uh, it's going to have different temperatures for the fish and the water, and uh, we have to mix those together, and then we also are going to heat it a little bit with some electric heat. So the first thing I want to do here is take a couple of the units that I've got. Uh, one of them is the volume of water that goes into this mix, 0.7 liters. And I'm going to take that and I need to figure out the mass that is in, implied by 0.7 liters of water. Okay, so uh, the mass that I have for that water is going to be equal to 0.7 uh, times the liters, and then I need to multiply that, since that's a volume, I need to multiply it by a density. Fortunately, this density is really easy. It's only one kilogram per liter. So this means that 0.7 liters is the same as 0.7 kilograms. Okay, so that's one of my masses that I had to deal with. Another one is that I have 600 grams of canned fish. So uh, that's not a big deal. I just need to change that. Uh, it's already in a, a unit of mass. I just need to change it into a unit of mass that is consistent with the uh, specific heat value that we have down here for that canned fish. And so uh, I'll just do that, I suppose, right down here, that the mass of the fish is going to be equal to 600, where was it, 600 grams. And I'll just multiply that by the conversion to go to kilograms. In one kilogram, there are a thousand grams. And therefore, the mass of the fish is just six tenths of a kilogram. Okay, so those are a couple of the initial things I wanted to do uh, before we get into the actual uh, energy side of this problem. For the energy side, uh, we have a similar type setup that uh, we've seen with a number of other problems. The change in the energy uh, that we have for the water plus the change in the thermal energy of the fish has to be equal to the change in energy in the system overall. There's really only two things we're going to account for there uh, in this is just the change in energy of the water, change in energy of the fish. Okay, as we do this, uh, thermal energy at least changes in thermal energy can be accounted for with a mass times a specific heat, times a change in temperature. And then, uh, of course, for our electrical energy, which accounts for the overall change in energy, there, there wouldn't be any overall change in energy uh, since the boundaries are assumed to be insulated, no heat is escaping or getting in where our energy comes from is the heater. And what we're given here is that the heater is drawing 5 amps of current and it goes through a resistance value of 23 and a half ohms. And so the basic equation we always use here is basically the power times the time. And so what we're going to do instead of expressing just as power, electrical power can be expressed as I squared R. And of course, with this problem, what we're looking to try to find is the amount of time that we have to run the heater to get the temperature where we would like it. Okay, so we're going to now express this uh, specifically for the elements that are part of the system. Uh, we have that the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times delta T of the water, which is just the final temperature which is the same for both water and fish, minus the initial temperature of the water, 
plus the mass of the fish times the specific heat of the fish times the temperature change of the fish which is just the final overall temperature minus the initial temperature of the fish and this is going to be equal to the overall change in energy which happens as a result of this electrical energy input I squared R T okay so now we just need to start plugging in some values so the mass of the water is going to be 0.7 kilograms C sub P of the water is 4180 joules per kilogram degree C the final temperature that we need this is how warm the alligators want their food is 19 degrees C for the water the water started out at 21 degrees C next we have the mass of the fish which is six tenths of a kilogram C sub P the the specific heat for the fish is 3350 joules per kilogram degree C and then lastly we have the difference in temperature that happens for the fish uh, which again is 19 C and then the fish starts out at a different uh, temperature value there it starts out at 5 degrees C okay and this is going to be equal to 5 amps squared the resistance value is 23 and a half ohms and then the last piece that we need is the time alright so I believe it looks like all of our units are in okay shape we have kilograms with kilograms degrees C with degrees C kilograms kilograms degrees C with degrees C uh, that basically leaves it with just joules on the left side on the right side uh, amps squared times ohms gives us watts a watt is a joule per second which you know the joules will then cancel what we have on the left the per second if we if we move that to the other side opposite of the T that becomes just seconds and so once I solve this T should come out in seconds so I'm gonna just go ahead and enter it all just how it is 0.7 times uh, 4180 times 19 minus 21 plus 0.6 times 3350 times 19 minus 5 this is going to be equal to 5 squared times 23.5 times my variable X so this I'm going to now solve for X and that gives me 37.94 it looks like the answers are just one digit so we'll just take 37.9 for my T and that means I would pick B. I appreciate your watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if, uh, if you enjoyed this.